Abraham's greatest challenge was the person through whom the breakthrough that God promised was going to come through. That was his wife, Sarai. One of the challenges that Sarai had was to maintain the faith that was the same as Abraham. After God had declared that they are going to be the father and mother of nations, we see Sarai beginning to doubt God. We see Sarai beginning to, to doubt what God had said. Number one, Sarai would not believe that what God had said would happen through her because of years without seeing uh, the miracle or without seeing a child coming. So she would not believe because she thought my womb is as good as dead. I am no better than any other. I don't think this thing concerns me. Number two, said I wanted to compromise what God had said by looking for an alternative plan B for Abraham. What am I saying? One of the things that we go through in life as believers is once we have a dream, we have wrong connections, people that we think through whom this thing should come to pass, most of them do not believe God the same way that we believe God. Most of the people that we have within our vicinity do not have that kind of faith, do not have that kind of perspective concerning that thing that we want to do. Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you've already started a business and your business partner does not see things the way that you see. What do you do in such circumstances? The Bible says Abraham believed God and he did not consider the weaknesses of his own body. Neither did he consider the deadness of Sarah's swamp. That means Abraham just continued believing God. He trusted God that whatever God had said was going to come to pass. And I want to, to, to encourage you that in this uh, lifetime in this generation God is raising people with vision God is raising people that have a better future and you are one of them no matter who's around you no matter the circumstances that surround you keep on believing God don't look at the deadness of your situation this is Apostle Mike when you until next time God bless you